80 runs of pain means that I'm gonna need a lot more firepower. Because it seems simple now, but this little dart is not going to cut it. And this is also hard difficulty, so I have no idea if the waves are actually gonna be different, and I just popped a balloon with my own body, and that hurt a little bit. And there's a very particular weapon that I'm interested in getting as soon as I can afford it, because everything is also more expensive. Five rounds in, and we're only halfway to the thingy that I want. So we're probably going to, yep, I was about to say, we're about to see green balloons before I can get the upgrade that I want. So as long as I pop those first, I can rope them in with everything else I don't have to worry about. Are you kidding me? I'm $1 short. Like, I want to buy this Dartling Gunner, but I'm literally $1 short. Why do you got to do this to me, game? So I just pop a single balloon, and now I have enough. Was that so hard? But at least now I have this, so I can start doing the things that I want to. Like, pop them all at super high speeds. The accuracy kind of takes a hit, though. But we can handle crowds a lot simpler. And we also get never-ending popping noises in our ears. And balloons keep trying to sneak up on me, so I have to keep moving. Eventually, I want to get to the point where I don't have to move at all. But now I can get focused firing, so there's a lot less spread. So I can just sit still and plink away at balloons. Until they come at me like that. That was actually a little scary. But they, at least they all line up very nicely, so I can just pop them one at a time. And I really do mean one at a time, because this thing only covers one layer of balloons at a time. But now by round 10, I'm making quite a bit of money per wave. And now we're starting to get some yellow balloons, which is very not nice. It's kind of a weird balancing act of picking off the strong ones because they're faster. And we still have quite a bit of ways to go before we get the next thing that I want, which is the banana tree. And I should be able to get the banana tree after this wave. And once again, we are barely shy of being able to plant the tree. It's so annoying. It's fine though, this means that I can get it before this wave is done. Fingers crossed, hopefully maybe but now we're getting pink balloons so now i gotta be extra careful because these pink balloons want me like nobody's business at least now i can buy the tree bye and as long as i keep the gatling gun at balloon level i can just strafe around like this it works very nicely that way and just like that we get some bananas and some of these yellow balloons are really tricky just taking the long way around so i can get past these other balloons but thankfully now i'm at the point where green balloons are no longer a problem and quickly upgrade the banana tree before the round is done and get extra benefits and now we're starting to get into some heart balloons so we gotta be more particular about finishing balloons off because i haven't bought the regeneration blocking upgrade yet I also don't want to. There's other things I want to invest money in, like greater production. And there are a lot of balloons right now, so a better idea that I have is to just group them all in the middle and then just spray into the crowd. So that way, they're just always getting popped. I feel like the people that are really into balloons ASMR are going to be into this video. But now the round is done and we get extra bananas. And I am, once again, a dollar away from this upgrade. Why do you gotta do this to me, game? But now I can pause the game in the menu and buy the upgrade. Just like that, for a faster barrel spin, for even faster popping, this is working very nicely. And just like that, the round is done. But now we're getting black balloons, which have even more pink balloons in them, which I don't like. Or maybe I do, because they're easy to pop and they give me more money. And this wave seems to be only yellow balloons, which are very fast, and the pink ones are even faster, so I gotta take care of those first. But at least I can cut across them all like this, and group them up nicely and then start whittling down the crowd all the way down to red balloons and then nothing. And now I can buy the last of the basic upgrades for the Gatling gun with some nice money left over. So now we should be able to pop these white balloons very quickly. This is incredibly fast rate of fire right now. This is what makes Gatling guns so fun, just the constant sounds of shots hitting things. Not sounds of the shots themselves though. But since our Gatling gun is in a good spot right now, we can go ahead and buy some support, like a plane, who once again is very good at spawn camping and popping all of the black balloons so that they bring out the fast ones for whatever reason. At least you're able to pop through a ton of layers at once and I can... Oh, it looks like we're starting to get some camo balloons. You can barely see them, but they're there. Although they might all be dead now. I might have killed the last few right, at they, right as they spawned. I could get by without buying the upgrade, but for your guys' sake... There we go. You're welcome. And we are getting some more heart balloons now. Ow. And they just ran into some. So I need to check where I'm going, I guess. And there's some purple balloons right there, which is not good. Who also seem to do the same thing as the black balloons, for whatever reason. Some zebra balloons are starting to show up, which is a whole lot of fun. Because it means there's going to be so many more pink balloons with us. At least these ones don't try to regenerate. But now I do have enough to buy the hero tank. So he can hopefully pop a ton of balloons in an instant. And he very much can. And he also stopped firing for whatever reason. There he goes. All right, it's a little iffy, which means that I have to pick up the slack. Lovely. And it looks like we're starting to get some steel balloons, which the plane just popped right away. But there's another one. Let's just set him free so I can pop all of those balloons. And hopefully the tank can do a lot of damage at once. Yes, yes he can. But now I can buy the upgrade for the plane for more rapid fire and keep plugging away at these heart balloons that are mixed in with the normal ones. I really don't think I need to buy that regeneration blocker yet. 
because those heart balloons still die pretty quickly. And my tag friend is very good at clearing out pretty much a whole pipe's worth of balloons all at once. And they're so good at taking out balloons, they're kind of interfering with each other, the plane and the tank. I just have to be careful to pull my own weight and take out my own amount of balloons, especially because some of these guys leave red balloons left over. And we just keep popping some even more balloons, black, white, and purple which all do the same thing, so I don't really get the difference. And that popping is very loud from the tank. As loud as it is, it all seems to work out. So there we can see the camo balloons better. Although I think my guys could see the camo balloons anyway, except this guy really can't. Oh, he can sometimes. Why are you so indecisive? Now I do have enough money to buy this buckshot right now, but I kind of want to get the rocket pod instead because explosions make things a lot of fun, like making popping sounds peak. And there's a whole lot of yellow balloons right now, plus a zebra balloon. That just gets melted down into nothing even considerable. And there's a loud popping I was talking about. So you can look forward to that once I get the rocket pod. And instead of being a dollar short, I am now a dollar over what I need. And this rocket pod looks like a big visual downgrade, but oh my. That just melts the pink balloons. So as long as I don't run into them, I can be totally fine. And there's a weird green glow that happens. And we're getting some rainbow balloons now. Which is lovely. That's exactly what I wanted. These rockets are the good kind of deadly because they just affect so many balloons at once. And I can clear out an entire pipe by myself of even the pink balloons. So I just have to worry about the ones that chase me. And here are some heart balloons that just get deleted in an instant. That's the kind of things I like. So more of this, more of that. I'm doing more explosions than the tank, which is a good thing. So now I really can't even see what balloons are coming out of the pipe right away, because they just get demolished instantly. There's a lot of steel balloons there, I saw that. So I'll just get around to this side of all of them and then turn around and blast. It's a good thing that the rate of fire didn't change all that much, and the explosions aren't as loud as they could be, which I guess is a good thing for you guys. But now I can upgrade the tree for even more bananas, and then pop even more balloons for even more money, and it all collects together very nicely. There's also a pink balloon behind me, but I don't really want to turn around just yet. There it is. And we're getting some ceramic balloons now, which means even more balloons. That's lovely. That's exactly what I wanted. You might think of being sarcastic, but that actually just means more money. And now the upgraded banana tree gives us even more goodies. So we can run into the stand quick, have the game be paused, and give a machine gun upgrade to our hero. And then quickly run away before we get popped. And then we just blast all of them. And my machine gun hero tank friend can blast even more balloons. But we're on wave 40 now, which means we get our first Moab, who can take a bit of a beating. But then once he pops, it's pretty much game over. And now we can put an upgrade into our plane for loads more darts. And just like that, I don't even know what balloon that was, but it was down to the greens and blues instantly. And this rocket tube is a very nice upgrade to get. I'll just convert all of these zebra balloons into the pink ones, which is not great. I personally like the pink balloons the least because they're so fast, but in the end, it really doesn't matter because they all get popped anyway. And it's just hard for me to hit the individual balloons because my rockets just go everywhere. But that's what this guy's machine gun is for. And I guess now I will buy the regrow blocker because I don't really want to see any zebra heart balloons showing up or those heart ones that were just there. So now all that's left is the camo balloons, which everyone can see anyway, so the camo's kind of pointless. And then we win the wave. Now I kind of just want to save up and get the rocket storm. And all of these rainbow balloons should help with that, because our money is just going up at ridiculous rates. And the bananas give it a little bit of an extra boost. Oh, and they're starting to spawn the pink balloons right away. That's fun and dandy, because they're immediately on my tail. So I just gotta spawn camp all of them before they become an issue. And there's rainbow balloons now, so that's fun. I'm just gonna cut through the middle here, turn around, blast all those, and I'm having less of a problem as I go on. But now we're starting to get some of the steel reinforced ceramic, which I guess is a thing, but they all get popped, which gives me more money. They just need to take quite a few more shots. And these camo balloons, once more, don't do anything, so I don't get what the point of the camo is. At least the ceramic balloons serve a purpose, and they're still pretty speedy. And they just have loads of balloons inside them, which means loads of money for me. I haven't really gone this far before, because last time there was only 40 rounds. So we shall see. I mean, wait for it doesn't seem too bad so far, just a ton of zebras and rainbows, but this is a lot of money coming in right here. I love it. Now, if I wanted to, I could upgrade the tree, but I'm only 2,000 money away from this, give or take. So we will push on and annihilate absolutely everything. I really don't even know which balloons are starting as hearts anymore because they're all getting popped right away. At least popped a little bit. They're not entirely getting destroyed, but they're clearing up the way for me, which I like. And we just gotta keep doing more of this and more of that. Come over here, burst all these ones. And there's some heart rainbows, but now I can work my way over here and buy the upgrade. So I can try it out before the round even ends. And it's a, wow, okay. Just 
sweeping wave of rockets right now. I like that. And I totally forgot to pick up the bananas before the round started, but nothing really to worry about except the Moabs, which I don't feel like I need to worry about thanks to these rocket swarms or these hydra swarms, whatever it was called. Oh yeah, they don't really stand anything. I'm just here to sweep up all of the money and all the bananas. Now we take out even more balloons. Oh my goodness. This is instant extermination right here. And we're also starting to get Moabs a lot more frequently, which really isn't too big of a problem. I pretty much just took that one out by myself and this one as well. Now, hopefully I'll be getting to the point where I can just sit in one spot and not have to move. There's not really a good spot for that though. Maybe right here by the boat. So as long as my guy covers one side, I can cover the other side and it works out pretty nicely. But now we're starting to charge through the middle. Okay, we're still doing good. I have not moved yet. Take out the Moab and take out that Moab and it's close. Oh, hey, I did it. I didn't have to move. And then I get delicious bananas as a reward. Oh, now the wave is starting with all ceramic balloons, which is not good because that means a lot of them can get closer sooner like that. Well, some waves I don't have to move. Other waves I just take out a Moab by myself and that works out so nicely. Wonder how tough the big red ones are gonna be. For now though, I'll get the last upgrade on this banana tree and kill even more balloons to make up the money I just lost. There's just a sea of balloons over there. Plus one Moab, which goes away pretty quickly. And then we get the delicious blue bananas, which is a little weird, but I like blue. Da ba dee da do. And there's another Moab instantly. And then I can get armor piercing for my tank friend. So he does even more damage especially to those rainbow balloons. And we're getting three Moabs at the same time, which isn't too bad. I kind of want the game to give me a big red one now just to see how tough it is. Cause this really isn't anything anymore. Oh, double Moab out of the same pipe. Okay, that's different. Should be pretty fine though. I'll just keep moving this way. Take care of the pink ones behind me. That whole row just got annihilated. And all of these ones get annihilated instantly. And it seems like they're trying to spawn in some ceramic hearts, which don't do a whole lot anymore because of that upgrade. And there's a red balloon at wave 60, a red Moab. So let's just see how quickly we can take him out. Oh, and that was that. And then for Moabs later, we have a lot of money. Enough money to buy the last upgrade for the plane, which is a Spectre. So now the plane shoots explosive thingies and all the time. So as long as I don't do anything foolish, I should be able to just park up somewhere and not have to move. But now it's a bit late for that because there's all these balloons everywhere. So I'll just pop them all and reap the benefits of getting almost $10,000 right away. And just like that, 10,000. Oh, now we're starting to get some armored Moabs. Well, this is interesting. And there's balloons starting to pop up behind me as well. Wow. So I guess we're starting to get to that point where I'm starting to get careless now. But we're still good on things. And then we can put more money into the hero to get the Moab Barrage. So if any more of those show up, we can just rain down mortars on their head. I like this. We just have to sit and listen for them. But right now, there's there's not a lot to listen to because it is all just popping, popping, and more popping. Not that there's anything wrong with that, though. And this is working very, very nicely. But now I just have to run all the way across the island to get the bananas because there's no sprint in the game. And then we can immediately get another upgrade for the tank, which is large caliber ammo. And there's some Moab, so let's rain down the barrage on them. Oh yes, that's gonna be very good. Yes, that worked so beautifully. And that was a very short round indeed. And then I can just sit here and wait for the ability to come back before starting the round. And all these rainbow balloons are such a beautiful source of income. And there's some Moabs. Ooh, some red ones too. I wonder if it'll prioritize them. I also can't really go this way anymore. So I need to start coming around this way. Okay, yes, it looks like it did. Red Moabs are taken care of. So it's just cleaning up the rest. This means we can get the last upgrade for our support tank. The battle tank. Oh, look at him now. It's like he's from the future. And he's ready to blast some more Moabs. Oh, that is wonderful. It works so nicely. Round 67 and my worries are pretty much behind me. I just have to suffer through all the popping that's directly in my ears and the Moabs just getting bombarded. I guess I can get the other support thing that I haven't gotten yet which is attack shooter. I can just upgrade this a ton of times. I could almost get the last upgrade already. Wow. All right, well, let's just plant you down right away. Right about here. Yeah. Looks really good right now. Blast the big red one. Oh yes, and all the small ones get bombarded instantly. And even these steel reinforced ceramic balloons are really not all that impressive anymore because they just obliterate a line of them. And that was a pretty nice wave, which means that we can buy the last support thing for the tack shooter, the tack zone. Oh wow, that thing is impressive. Maybe we should plant him more in the middle. 
so he gets more action that way. Not that he'll really get any action because the plane is so good at his job. And there he's starting to get some shots in. I'll just run close to him so he gets even more. And there's some Moabs, which means more bombardment. And wave 70 is completed. I kind of wish I could climb on top of this thing. Wonder if I place him over here, I can climb on top. So we just hop onto the boat and jump onto him. Oh, no, I can't. Although I can stand in front of him and just hopefully survive this round. Just gotta be careful to pick off the Moabs and then blast some more balloons. And nope, they're closing in, so I can't stay still. Although I was able to sit still for most of it. Maybe I just get lucky one of these times. And there's some big red Moabs already and two of them and there's only one and he's done i'll just put this guy back in the middle he's not doing much good on the edge right now i'm just looking forward to the last round because we got two moabs in the red variety every wave now which means that there should maybe be a lot more in the last wave right now i just have to blast every balloon and make millions until then and there's a lot of these armored ceramic ones oh there's a red one right there quick blast them just kind of showed up right in front of me round 75 and i have nothing left to spend money on just gotta okay dodge all these big red ones that's the kind of fight i was looking for and now there's a ton of these smaller ones which are flying right by the attack shooter which is what i wanted and the attack shooter does a very good job i must say so i wonder if there's just gonna be red moabs like every every round now and of course i say that and there's no red moabs to be seen i should be careful around the pipes though i'll probably get to 100,000 before the wave is done too not the wave the game and all these blue moabs i can pop by myself no problem so i just have to rely on everything that i built up to this point to take out the red ones with a very good level of success i do kind of wonder if the last wave is going to be just all red moabs and i really don't get these purple balloons anymore they just die instantly and all these ceramic ones really aren't a problem either because they get whittled down to pink level like right away and they got camo ones in there too it's a little weird and i didn't even see the number but we got a hundred thousand and nice in there somewhere and that entire wave of balloons just got taken out Whoa, okay red moab spawning right under my feet that's lovely and that one's armor too Okay, so that's what we're dealing with now. Oh, you know what I totally forgot about? There's black Moabs too, isn't there? I wonder if that's at the end of the game. Well, this is the last wave, so we're about to find out after I confirm that there is absolutely nothing more that I can buy. So let's see what it is. Oh, I was right, it is the black one. Ho oh, ho 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 Wow, look at you. You're a big chonker, aren't ya? Let's just bombard you some. And now four red ones, pretty good. And now a bunch of blue ones. And I think, wow, we just melted that thing. That was incredible. So yes, rocket pods are the best. Hope you enjoyed. Sub to intern. Thank you channel members, including Bread, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Calvin K, Mr. Cripple One, Master Roshi, Monkey, Ancient Elixir One, Destructo Man, Bladed Archer, Joe C, Cowboy, Evan F, Donamoto, Deviant X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, and Oscar B.